Welcome to Electra Online. With these examples, we will have a shift both in the x direction and in the y direction. And that's because we have a plus or minus inside the parentheses and we have a constant at the end, so there will be a double shift. So here you can see that the parabola will be shifted to the right by two units and will be shifted up by one unit. So to the right by two units, one, two, up by one. So where these two come together, that will be where the vertex is. Now you know that it opens upward because there's a positive sign in the front and so our parabola will look something like this. Over here we have a shift to the right by one and down by one. So to the right by one, down by one, one, negative one. So this is where the vertex will be and the parabola will open upward because there's a positive in front so that means the parabola will look like this. And finally here we have, oh, we can see that the problem will be opening downward. There's a shift to the left by 3 and up by 5. So left by 3, 1, 2, 3, minus 3, up by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so the vertex will be right there at the point minus 3, 5, and it'll open downward. So the problem will look like this. So you can see that you can relatively easily graph equations, quadratic equations that are in this format. You can easily see how much they shift up or down, how much they shift to the left and to the right. So it makes it easy to graph. All you have to do is find the vertex, determine if it opens upward or downward, and then see if it's either a wide or a skinny parabola depending upon the number in front. In this case, there's just a number one in front of each one, so they kind of look normal or regular, so we would call. And that is how it's done. Oh, yes, that's a good point. Are these accurate graphs? No, they're not accurate because maybe this goes right to the origin. I didn't quite draw it right to the origin. It's just to get the general shape, the location of the vertex, whether or not it opens upward or downward, and the general shape of the parabola. If you want a more accurate graph, then of course you'll need to find specific points, and then you have to go through those points as you draw the parabola. But in this case, it's just a quick and dirty, so to speak, quick graph that doesn't give you the exact position of where the graph goes, just an approximate position where the graph goes. That's important to know. And the axis of symmetry. And there's no axis of symmetry. It doesn't look exactly the same on both sides. Yeah. <laughs>